The White House is facing questions about President Biden's health after reports of visit by a Parkinson's disease specialist. White House visitor logs show Dr. Kevin Kennard, an expert in Parkinson's, visiting the White House eight times between last summer and spring. This led to intense questioning of Press Secretary Karin John Pierre during a briefing. John Pierre firmly denied that Biden is being treated for Parkinson's or taking medications for it. But it. Guys, I'm trying to answer the question so you can connect the dot that there are multiple neurologists that come, not neurologists, specialists that come through here uh, because there are a thousand, like more than a thousand medical, uh, medical military personnel here, uh, military personnel here. But you certainly could clear this all up just by saying what he was doing here and if it was connected to the president, yes or not? I, I am not going to confirm the... the a, a particular no, neurologist, anybody. It doesn't matter if they're a dermatologist or a neurologist. I'm just not going to do that. I shared with all of you that the president has met, has been with the neurologist three times as it relates to his physical, three times. So, you know, I'm just not, I'm, guys, I'm just not going to do that out of security reasons, out of privacy. It is, it is not something that I'm going to do. A measure of privacy, we have to be able to give people from here. However, she initially also refused to confirm doctors' visit, citing security reasons. This also led to a tense exchange with the reporters. The press secretary at that time explained that Biden sees a neurologist annually as a part of his physical examinations. Still, she wouldn't confirm if these visits were at the White House or Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. And so, now in response to these mounting questions, the White House has now released a memo from Biden's physician, Dr. Kevin O'Connor. The memo clarified that Dr. Kennard was the neurologist specialist who examined Biden for each of his annual physicals. O'Connor stated that Biden has not seen a neurologist outside of these annual exams. The memo also explained that Dr. Kennard has been the neurology consultant to the White House Medical Unit since 2012. His regular visits to the White House were primarily to support the thousands of active-duty military personnel assigned to White House operations, many of whom experienced neurological issues related to their service. These health-related questions come at a time when Biden is already facing criticism over his age and fitness for the office, particularly after a challenging debate performance against the former President Donald Trump. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him uh, foot, foot. Despite call from some Democrats for him to end his re-election campaign, Biden remains adamant about staying in the race. Even the First Lady, Jill Biden, has voiced her support for her husband's re-election, saying that she is all in as well. However, some Democrats, like the Washington representative Adam Smith, believes that the party will be better off with another nominee. Despite these challenges, many Democratic lawmakers also continue to support Biden's candidacy. The situation highlights the ongoing debate within the Democratic Party about Biden's fitness for the office and his chances in the 2024 election.